Okay, let me ruffle a few feathers and expose ambient music. And in a minute or so I will demonstrate my favorite method that will help you to create your first ambient track or if you're an experienced artist already, help to get you grounded and click that inner reset button. Isn't that exactly what ambient music is made for? Honestly, that wasn't only a rhetorical question. Please share your thoughts in the comments. It's always nice to hear from you guys. So what's the problem anyway? Well, when I look around on YouTube, there are many creators in the ambient niche. And I can tell that most of them really love what they do. Unfortunately, most of them are making it way too complicated. And they make up way too many rules and restrictions like do this, do that, use this sound, use this tempo, which is really conflicting with the ambient idea. Think about it. Another problem, not only in ambient music of course, is that many creators are really into nerdy equipment and tech stuff, which is again, not really the best mindset for creating art. In fact, it mostly produces plastic and electro crap and lots of confusion and we really need more of that in the world, right? And then the musical result. Why is it always about rainbow colored unicorns in space that throw golden stardust and dream stones at me? Oh. But don't get me wrong, we're gonna create a beautiful ambient track in this video as well, but it doesn't have to be like that all the time. Ambient music can be dark and dirty, raw and scary, it can be everything you want, just like every normal piece of music. I will talk more about my ambient philosophy in future videos and why I think ambient music is so important, especially for trained musicians. I learned my lesson. But now let's finally start with the demonstration. It goes very fast because that's the point here. I want to inspire you on the spot and show you how simple the process can be without pushing you too hard into my way of thinking. Does that sound good to you? So let's go. Open an e-piano sound or something similar in your DAW. Set the tempo to 108, everybody knows that. Just kidding, the tempo is in fact totally unimportant. Create a part that's two bars long and write down a few notes. The scale doesn't matter. Yes, you've heard that right. The scale doesn't matter. Change the selection tool to time stretch and stretch the part to make it much longer. Open the instrument and crank up the attack and release. In the MIDI effects, add a MIDI modifier to randomize the pitch by 3 and minus 3. Use more randomizers to let it change the position and velocity. Now insert a delay and a reverb. I use a normal stereo delay with a mix of 50%, a feedback of at least 50%, different delay times and some panning. My reverb is Valhalla Supermassive, what else? And I choose the Dark Matter preset. Now duplicate the track and tune the lower part down by two octaves. Again, with the time stretch tool, squeeze the part to something around half the size. Copy and stretch it to fill the room. Select all the parts and copy them over and over again until the track is like 5 hours long. And optionally, you can add a chorus and a slow moving filter or whatever you want in the stereo out channel. Finally, a limiter to turn up the loudness volume to your liking. So this is what happens when you stop believing in space unicorns and also realize that technical complexity and equipment really isn't that important when you want to make ambient music. Of course, this is only a beginning and you can change all parameters and values however you want and also make adjustments to the whole concept and I encourage you to do so. Also, export the track like three times and decide for the one you like the most because every version will sound different thanks to all the randomizers. I'm excited to read your comments and I will make more videos about my approach on ambient music. In the meantime, watch these videos here and please don't forget to leave a like.